the first regime of pool boiling is what is known as natural convection boiling if your temperature of the surface is not more than 3 to 5 degrees celsius then there are no bubbles going to form here you don't see any bubbles rising but you do see steam rising from the surface this is called natural convection boiling stage 1 nucleate boiling is where you are transferring sufficient heat to the surface in which um, water is present such that the temperature difference between the water the saturation temperature and the surface temperature of your uh, vessel is sufficient enough that localized nucleation sites are created and these bubbles are what we call as nucleation sites so in this particular condition you have bubbles forming but collapsing immediately after they form they don't actually sustain for a very long time okay so still boiling still saturation temperature for water of 100 degrees celsius but your surface temperature is higher so the rate of heat transfer has gone up slightly stage 2 is essentially a stable boiling with bubbles rising to the top and the temperature difference that you have is from 10 degrees to 30 degrees so liquid water touches the surface becomes vapor and is immediately replaced by liquid water again so this is the most convenient most effective form of heat transfer that we can do when it comes to uh, pool boiling regime here also you have the maximum heat transfer rate as high as 10 raised to 6 which is about 1000 kilowatts while you reach point c it's happening on natural convection basis so this is the region that we try to favor point c which is the peak of this particular curve is the critical heat flux you cannot get more than this but if you try to push your system above this you move from nucleate boiling to transition boiling the rate of heat transfer tends to reduce because if you keep increasing the surface temperature there are regions on the surface where the liquid never comes in contact some part of the vapor film will always cover the high temperature sir some part so some liquid comes in evaporates and reinforces this vapor film but the part where the vapor film is present it doesn't get to connect with new liquid water you end up getting a reduced heat transfer in film boiling the surface temperature is so high that your heat transfer is fourth power of temperature in case of radiation so if your temperature goes up radiation tends to dominate in this particular condition but the problem is because no liquid is directly in contact with the surface the heat flux is lowest when film boiling starts that's called leiden frost point this is the point at which the heat flux is similar to nucleate stage 1 okay even though the temperature is significantly different this is where film boiling actually starts from this point you get another rise in heat flux so more and more heat is still being pumped all the way and beyond point e 